Who do you got for your one true survivor pick in week five? I want the Bucks over the Dolphins. You're getting an extra three points on the line if you look at where things stand with BetMGM right now. And uh, the Massey Peabody model is one that I check out quite a bit. There's a 10-point difference in terms of the quality of the Bucks and Dolphins when you look at those teams on neutral fields against an average opponent. The Bucks are at home in this game, so the way my mind works, I think hmm, maybe they should be favored more like 13. Like That's a, mm-hmm. a pretty big deal. Now, the Dolphins are not horrible. I, I, I will say that. Jacoby Brissett is more than competent as a backup quarterback, probably better than a handful of starters in this league. And this is a, a defense that maybe... Because it's seen enough Tom Brady with Brian Flores coming from New England, maybe they have ways to do some of the things that we saw the Patriots do schematically to Tampa Bay on Sunday night. All that being said, I think the Bucs are probably as frustrated as I am that they didn't win bigger in New England. So maybe I'm projecting (laughs) a little bit of my own frustration (laughs) onto them that they didn't yep. smash in that Sunday night game. I think they can bounce back in a big way at home here. I, I think the, the main thing that drew me to the Bucks too, aside from the line being a little bit bigger, staying away from two divisional matchups. I try to mm-hmm. avoid those when possible just because those teams know each other so well and they can often play games that are a bit tighter than the lines expect. Yeah, I mean, I, I really don't think there's a great argument. There certainly isn't an argument for like fading the Bucks. I guess if you were going to make one, it would be based on pot odds. But even in that scenario, DVR, you are hoping that you know the Dolphins are a realistic uh, that, that they have a realistic chance of beating the Buccaneers. And I'm just not so sure that I see that minus some really screwy things happening. So yeah, I can't really push back on the Bucks in, in a way where I think the Dolphins have a chance of pulling an upset. I definitely wouldn't push back there. And I really wouldn't push back in terms of there being some sort of leverage to game because the only, I mean, the leverage is always there, but you want to take those leverage shots when you really think there's a chance of it happening. And I just don't see a a realistic scenario in which the Dolphins take down the Buccaneers. So in a world where I have the Buccaneers available, I'm right there with you. That is not the world that we are in on the Athletic Fantasy Football Podcast since I used them in week two. So I'm actually going to go to the Ravens over the Colts. I like this spot for the Ravens. And, you know, I I think a lot of what you said for the Cowboys holds true as well. And I have multiple survivor pools, some of which with multiple entries. I will be using some of those on the Cowboys, but this is one true pick as far as this pool goes. And I like this spot for the Ravens. Yeah, I think that they should be looked at as comfortable favorites against the Colts. And they certainly are being looked at as comfortable favorites uh, against the Colts. And I just think that they are, you know, the better team. They are comfortably the better team. They're playing at home here. There's no division worries here. There's no, you know, real extreme familiarity between these two teams. And whenever that's the case, that's always going to favor the better team playing at home. And that's what we've got in the Ravens here. Just, I think that the Colts are really going to have trouble keeping up offensively. And you know, I've said a few times uh, in uh, in other areas of this show that I always want to be wary of buying last year's good defense. We've seen that team fall apart the le- the next season in recent years, the 2017 Jaguars, the 2018 to 19 Bears, the 2019 to 2049ers. Like a lot of those teams that are built on defense have trouble bringing that same uh, thing the following season. And we're seeing it a little bit with the Colts so far this season. The offense looked better last week, but still not one to the extent that you really think they're going to keep up with an offense that has the sort of efficiency level in it that the Ravens do. So I think that the Ravens are a way to go here, and they give me a unpopular option. I'm sort of surprised that they're down in that 5 to 6% range. I would think they would be a little bit more popular. There are some teams that I am happy to fade here, and if I can't use the Bucks. I like using the Ravens in this spot. So they are definitely uh, the team that caught my eye in places where I cannot use the Bucs. 